Welcome to Course Spider. In this video, we are going to discuss how to add a navigation bar or navbar in SP.NET code. In this video, we discuss what is navigation bar or navbar, how and where to use navbar, and many more. So let's first discuss what is navigation bar or navbar. A navigation bar is a user interface element within a web page that contains links to other sections of the website. As you see in this diagram, this is a customer management website where you can see that there is different navigation menus like home, about, contact and privacy. Also there is login and register button is available. So let's first understand why the navigation bar is very much important in a website. The navigation bar is an important element of a website design since it allows user to quickly visit the section within the site. If you have ever visited a website without a navigation bar, you may have found the difficult to locate the page you need. You may have also had to click back button several times in order to find a link to the next section you want to visit. That's why in a web design has become more standardized in recent years and in nearly every website now includes a navigation bar so that the user can navigate easily from one page to another page. So in this video, we are going to discuss how to add the navigation bar in ASP.NET Core web application using Bootstrap. So let's flip to Visual Studio and we'll see there how to add this type of navigation bar in ASP.NET Core MVC application using Bootstrap. As you are implement the navigation bar using Bootstrap, you can see here in w3schools.com the navigation bar example. Like this, we should create in our ASP.NET Core application. Also, you can find the bootstrap navbar in getbootstrap.com in the navbar section. There is several type of bootstrap example you can go through also. This is the same application that we have used so far in our video series. Let's first run the application and we will see that what exactly the page is so. You can see that the by default it called to the index page. You can see that we have multiple pages about us, contact us, feedback, index and privacy. Currently, we are in the index.cshtml page. Suppose we want to move to another page, then you need to type here home, then about us. Suppose we want to move to the contact us page, so you need to here to type as home contact us page. Now I am in contact us page. But on the real time project, we should provide a navigation pair that the user can navigate easily from one page to another. So let's check how to implement this. In the layout.cshtml, we need to append the navigation bar. Suppose you move to the get bootstrap.com, you can find that to use the nav bar, we use the bootstrap property of nav. And in that nav bar, we must use the on added list to navigate from one page to another page. For the quicker demo, I have already created the navigation menu bootstrap content. Let's open this. Let's copy all these things. And on the body tag, let's paste this. Here in the body tag, we have used the header class. In the header, we have used the navigation property of the bootstrap. Then here we used a anchor tag with the image that's logo.png and the image is reside in the www root images folder. This is our logo. And here we use the on added list of that page home, about us, contact and privacy. Let's run the application and we'll see the result. You can see that there is a logo and the customer management is our project name or website name. And there is home button, about, contact and privacy link button. And another is login and register button is there. Let's move to the core and here you can see that this is a class and in that class we have used the image and the text is customer management and these are the two buttons of login and register and here we use the on order list of home about contact and privacy. But here you can see that whenever I mouse over you can see that there is no href tag is there. That means we cannot navigate from one page to another. So we need to add the href tag in the anchor tag. So let's add here href equal to we need to add only slash because of currently we are in the home and index page and in the startup CS you can find that the default controller and action method is index. So there is no need to type any controller and index name. Here we need to type as href equal to let's our controller name is home like this copy these things. Let's save this and run the application. Now currently I am in the home page. Let's click on the about us page. You can see that it navigate to the home about us and the about us content is displayed here. Like this whenever I click on the contact it can go to the contact us page and whenever I click on the privacy it go to the privacy page. 
let's click on the customer management you can see that there is no navigation menu so you need to append the navigation menu here in anchor tag href equal to slash save this run this application suppose currently i'm in the contractor space when i click on the customer management it should be moved to the index space you can see that now it go to the index page and currently we have not implemented the login and register we implement the login and register page in our upcoming videos also this sp.net core mbc application is implement the bootstrap so this application should be responsive and mobile friendly to check the mobile friendly let's inspect this and click on the toggle device toolbar now you can see that it is open on the mobile devices when you click on the navigation menu you can see that the navigation menu is working perfectly whenever i move to the about then it go to the about page whenever move to the contact it go to the contact page privacy privacy page whenever i click on the customer management it go to the home page as well suppose i make change in the ipad you can also see that everything is working perfectly as it is a fully responsive using bootstrap and we have already discussed how to add the client side library bootstrap and jquery in asp.net core mbc application as you can see that we have used the bootstrap css here and in the js we have used the jquery.js and the site.js this is a default js of our customer management project and there is a script of bootstrap bundle min.js this is responsible to view in the mobile device and you can find that there is a button element is there because of whenever we select as a mobile device it should be selected as button navbar toolbar and this should enable navigation using mobile devices you can see that the navigation and it should work perfectly that's it in the video do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos thanks for watching